Alright, this video is on what your Prime Star should sound like once it's operational and it's working properly. Uh, it's pretty warm outside, so mine's not going to stay on a very long time, but you'll get the idea of what it sounds like if you're trying to find out what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, there wasn't very many videos out a long time ago, and I was trying to learn myself, so I'm passing this along to you. Maybe this will help out. Okay, I got water running. Getting to the key part here. Uh, some keys have the feature where you can push them down. So I'm gonna show you here. You can just push it down and the choke supposedly engages. On the Yamaha Prime Start, you can forget it. It doesn't work that way. So don't let somebody tell you that oh, this is what causes it to come on. It don't. Alright. You hear how it hides up kind of high and then all of a sudden it drops right back off and it's warm out. So it doesn't need to stay on very long. And as I was telling you, it doesn't take you. It doesn't matter how many times you turn it on or off, it always comes on. Here, back on again. That's what it sounds like when it runs properly. And we'll do it again. Okay, let's go over what you were hearing here earlier. All right, first off, when we fired the engine up, you hear the engine rev up a pretty good bit, and all of a sudden it starts shutting off. All right, let's get a little technical here on why it does what it does. All right, the solenoid here, all the way up, once you start the engine, okay? As you're starting the engine, it's running, and it's idled up. All right, this is in the up position. Now, uh, the, the hotter it gets, so the wax filled solenoid, so it's going to press this down here. It's a little plunger here, it goes straight down. As it does, it closes off a hole inside of here. Alright? Uh, there, in some cases, uh, where you may run into where the engine uh, will take and start up, you can hear it come on, and then all of a sudden it'll run smooth, then it'll go right back to taking where it's about flooding out, then it goes back to running smooth. This is where the solenoid is starting to go bad if somebody's having this trouble here because it'll actually cause uh, this not to make connection or you're getting a failure to get proper power to here uh, on that end. But uh, this is what you're hearing. Now, in order for the motor to run, this has to be on all the time, okay? Uh, you can cut it off here and stop it from going up and down because you're basically shutting the gas off through there. But when, as soon as you turn the ignition on, you fire the engine up, this has to travel down. If it's cold, it takes a long time. If it's hot, it takes a short time. It's wax-filled solenoid. I'll repeat that again, a wax-filled solenoid. All right? So, it works basically like a candle wax. The harder you get, the more it melts. The colder it is, the longer it takes it to melt. So, basically about how it works. But this system is on the entire time that the engine is running. Okay, keep that in mind. You, you can't just shut this off here because it's a it's a major part of how this engine runs if you want it to run properly but you do have the option of cutting it off here if you're having issues with this here but if you're having o-ring trouble here which is uh, on the back side of it then you might as well just hang it up you're going to have to replace the o-ring so but this is just an indication of what's going on here and showing you how this works and why it's doing what it's doing and if i do have a little bit of footage of what one sounds like uh, I'll get the footage on the end of this video and maybe that'll help somebody out, okay? Okay, I looked around, I couldn't find any videos of where I had one actually running cold. I must have deleted them somewhere along the line, which is nothing unusual with me. Uh, but I did, however, find a video where uh, I was having trouble with an O-ring uh, that was bad that I discussed earlier in the video. And I will post that. i post it under Prime Start, bad O-ring. That's the best way you can probably find it or you can look on the channel and find it. But I will post it. Hope this was helpful for you and hopefully you learned something.